Hey folks, I took that Comet 46P picture again last night. 50 more frames. So, you, you know, the short clip of movie that you are watching is from those clips. So, I started researching on this Comet. It's a very interesting Comet. This Comet comes like every 5.4 years. So, the last time it came, it came like around 2013. But right now it's actually bright. Last time it came, it was only like what 14.7 magnitude. Higher the magnitude, lower the brightness. Now it actually is around 3 mag of 3 or mag of 4, mag 4. So it's pretty bright. It's almost as bright as like a star brightness. So if you miss it, don't worry on December 16th, this thing is not going anywhere. You can still use a binoculars or a telescope. You know, maybe after January 15th, it actually gets more faint. But until that time, you should be able to see it. An American astronomer name is on this comet. His name is Vertanen. So it's called Comet 46P Vertanen, you know, like in 1950s. This comet is like really green, so I was kind of wondering why is it so green? Well, the gas around this comet makes it green. Really, the comet is very small. It's only like, what, 1.2 kilometers wide? Because of all the gas and the coma around it makes almost like a size of a moon, like size of a full moon or even more. So a lot of people asked me, hey, how do I get more information about this comet? I wanted to see it. I wanted to take pictures with it. I go to this website, theskylive.com. You can see the, you know, the actual position where it is. You can put it in a software like Stellarium and use your telescope or binoculars to look where it is. If you want to take a picture, you know, you can copy those right ascension and declination, RA and the deck, and then copy that into like a software like Sequence Generator Pro or whatever the software that you like to take pictures. If I can get another picture of this comet before it leaves with the ion trial behind, I'll certainly show you guys on this channel. Thanks for watching.